The first of several former Obama administration officials to appear before the House Select Committee on Benghazi this month testified behind closed doors today. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge with more on the appearance of former CIA Chief David Petraeus. While Hillary Clinton testified publicly before the Benghazi Committee back in October, the former CIA director today used a restricted access passageway to avoid reporters and gave classified testimony behind closed doors. Committee leadership disagreed on the progress. We have learned new information in every facet, the before, the during, and the after. This is being dragged out to get as close to the election process as possible. There are now dates on the calendar to interview then UN Ambassador Susan Rice who appeared on five Sunday talk shows and blamed a demonstration gone awry for the 2012 terrorist attack that killed four Americans. As well as presidential aide Ben Rose who crafted the memo instructing Rice and others to blame the violence and regional unrest on an obscure internet video and not a broader policy failure. I haven't seen that announcement from uh, Mr. Gowdy's committee but we'll take a look at it and get back to you. Sources told Fox News committee members plan to question Petraeus about blocked rescue efforts. Why CIA security contractors were told to wait and not immediately aid Ambassador Stevens and what he knew about the covert shipment of weapons from Arab nations to arm the Libyan opposition. Fox News has learned the CIA has withheld from the committee real-time message traffic from the night of the attack. This record would be much more direct and pertinent to laying out the factual events of that night than any other uh, written record that, that have been, has been seen so far. Also today, newly released emails show a senior Clinton aide was busy with personal matters on September 13th, not even two days after the attack. The emails are obscene. You have uh, Cheryl Mills, Mrs. Clinton's top deputy in the, in the State Department, picking out a logo for her new company. Within the next week, the former Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta and his former Chief of Staff Jeremy Bash are scheduled to testify. An email from Bash on the night of the attack shows military assets were mobilized waiting for State Department approval. Brett? We'll follow it. Catherine, thank you.